Now I'll show you what we'll do next with the stamps. Okay, so now I'm going to show you even another way you can do stamping overlays. Here I've got a Studio G, one of those dollar stamps again, of a telephone that says hello. And then I've also got a little Studio G dollar stamp of a camera. Okay, so... So, let me go ahead and get my stuff ready. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and get that scrap piece of paper that we done with the last part of the stamping technique. Um, with the... The telephone, I'm going to use black Studio G ink, and then I'm going to use my Tim Holtz Distress Minis to make a rainbow effect for the word hello. With the, the camera, I'm going to use the red by Studio G, but then the circle part here is the part that we're overlaying, and I'm going to do hit and black. So, and you can see I've already used this stamp. Uh... I've used that one too. All right, so let me go ahead and we'll go ahead and stamp this. Make sure it's stamped really good. Don't know how good that one's stamped. I'm just gonna do another one up fast. There, that one's better. Okay. Just clean my stamp real fast. I found it easier, although I hate to do it this way, but I found it easier even if I'm not going to, was going to use this uh, stamp again. I'll take the time to clean my stamp real fast because, and that's why a lot of them is black. I was uh, making an inventory one day of my stamps that I had, my little dollar stamps, and <coughs> excuse me, I used black ink, and the black ink, I mean, completely stained it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish clean my stamp and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my Distress Minis to make the Hello Park colorful. I'm going to go ahead and use blue, which is Salty Ocean. I'm going to try to just do the H. That's one of the reasons why I love these Minis, because you can get right down to it. So and I'm going to use my green of Mold Lawn. Hold on, Luke. Then I'm going to use my mustard seed yellow. Okay, hold on. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my mustard seed yellow for the one of the L's. Let's see. I'm trying to get it to where you can see. Two there. I'll try that way. Okay, then I'm going to use my Spiced Marilade Orange for the other L. And then I'm going to use my Fire Brick Red for the O. Like that last little side over there. There you go. All right, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and stamp it down. And oh, that looks so pretty. Does that not look so pretty? I don't know if you can see it. Let me raise it up here so you can see it. There it goes. Is that pretty or what? So Go ahead and put my stamps or ink pads back up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean my stamp and cut these out, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I now have these cut out. I've got my 8.5 by 11 cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and score it with my Martha, Martha Stewart mini scoreboard and cut it out to make a card base, and I'll be right back. And just to let you know about, about this right here, in case you didn't know, on the scoreboard, at least the Martha Stewart one, it has the measurements here for your different kinds of cards, like a four bar, an A2, A6, or an A7. 
And um, I'm using the A2, which is four and one quarter by eight and a half, and the new score at four and one quarter. Or four, yeah, I think so. Let's see. It's four and one fourth by five and a half is the actual card size. And then it's eight and a half by five and a half, and the new score is what you start out with, and the new score at four and one fourth. So, there we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that there, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my card base here. And I'm going to go ahead and glue down my foam. I'm using my same pen that I had to use before, the, uh, the glue pen. Uh, let me use my... Use my little tweezers here. What, Bobby? Okay, well, hold on one second. And some of the glue's coming out above that part of the phone there, but that's okay. I'm just using my tweezers here to kind of help push it down. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so now with the hello um, part of the stamp, I'm going to use the um, Elmer's Craft phone mounting circles and squares again. I'm using the tiny, tiny squares I'm going to put on the back and then mount it on there. So, I'm not trying to be off screen, but it's difficult to camera. I'm going to get a tripod for my cell phone. Like, well, it ain't a tripod, it's the clip that holds a cell phone. And uh, when I get that, I'll be so happy. So, let me go ahead and stop the video and do this right here and I'll be right back. Okay, so now as you can see, I got the hello um, on there, and it's uh, 3D um, and stuff. I don't think it actually looks beautiful. So, there's that one. 